Hey YouTube, iPhone for Idiots here and today we're going to look at an app called Square that allows you to take credit card payments on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Um, it's a very cool little app and I go much more in depth in the article about um, some competitors and what I think is going to happen here, but I uh, just want to show you how this works. Um, basically all you have to do is download the uh, free app from the um, App Store. Then you go to uh, Square's website and you um, sign up a bank account. You have to register a bank account, of course. And then they send you one of these um, card readers in the mail. And um, it just goes right into the uh, audio jack of your iDevice. And then that's pretty much it. Then you just swipe the card. Um, this is the app. It's very simple. Um, you open it up. You put in some amount. Um, we'll put in uh, just say eleven dollars here and then there's um, space here where you can put what it's for we'll say that this is for uh, charity because one of the things this would be really good for is uh, if you're trying to raise money um, for some charity and you have some event um, uh, you can take credit cards as opposed to just cash or checks um, <clears throat> there is the uh, standard it's approximately 3% fee um, on all transactions but you're going to get that no matter what credit card uh, company you sign up with this you get no contract with square there's no contract required and um, there's no fee and like I said they send you all this stuff for free so uh, once you go to the website and register your bank account and verify it when they put in two small deposits you're good to go um, so we'll put in charity then you can click this little um, um, camera button here and take a picture of let's say we were <clears throat> getting a purchasing a can of Diet Coke so you just snap the picture you can see <clears throat> it's very cool that it uses that and then it's going to email you your receipt that will then have the photo right there of what you purchased to help you remember along with the notes so it's pretty good um, so then you just uh, hit charge and um, obviously card, I don't know why you'd use cash, and you can also manually enter the number, the card. There's been an issue with the iPhone 4, you might see this little piece of paper here, um, metal on metal with the card and the antenna of the iPhone 4. Um, it's created a problem, but the piece of paper supposedly fixes it, um, and it actually does, but uh, Square is already sen sending out a new reader, but because it took six weeks to get this one, it'll probably be a while before I get it, so let's show you how this works. All you gotta do is swipe, and then it authorizes, and then it'll take you to a signature screen. You can see right here, which obviously is pretty cool. So then you just need to sign. Blah, blah, blah. X marks the spot. Looks like a three-year-old signature, but I'm sure that'll work. Then you just hit continue. At the bottom here, it processes. And then I think all you have to do at that point is click Authorize or Confirm. Oh, it asks you if you want a receipt. So we'll say, yeah, send send us a receipt via email. Um, and we'll go ahead and skip that. But um, that would be nice if you want a receipt. And there you go. Um, and I'll put in the article, I think it's going to take a day or two for the actual um, transaction to show up in my bank account, but I'll let you know in the article. And um, that's it. There are quite a few flaws with Square. Um, despite having just awesome, the, the founder is Jack Dorsey of Twitter. Um, it's already got investors like the co-founder of Twi Twitter, Biz Stone, Four Squares, Dennis Crowley, Diggs, Kevin Rose. Just awesome people are investing in this thing. But like I said, I think it's got it's a pretty much a big fail because it took so long to put out the the little reader. The reader's not working for the iPhone 4. There's a competitor that's already made a deal with PayPal. It's just going to leave them in the dust. And then the biggest problem is this um, metal strip technology of uh, credit cards. Uh, in Europe, they've they've already inserted chips into credit cards. They don't really use this technology anymore. It's technology that I don't think is going to exist in 10 years. So putting all this money into this company seems like a bad idea at the moment. But um, it still is a pretty cool little app and does have some useful applications or if you need to take credit cards and are looking for a way to do it. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.